excellence online subscribe to our channel now for more educational videos and press the bell icon for more updates Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim this is Adnan Ahmed from excellence online platform uh, today i'm going to tell you and uh, i'm going to teach you about uh, a poetry section of first year class we have uh, different kinds of poems one of them is uh, a sonnet s o n n a c t sonnet uh, we have got elegy a ballad fight uh, epic and many more kinds of poems one of them is sonnet sonnet is a, a kind of poem in which we have got two stanzas uh we have got two stanza in one stanza we have eight lines second stanza consists of six line octave and sextet sonnet composed upon westminster bridge it was composed by uh as you can see it was composed by a william wordsworth a poet of nature and his uh, poems and his poetry we have all about natural description a uh, nature green part sea side mountains and more examples if we discuss about uh, sonnet composed upon westminster bridge first is structures of sonnets we are discussing a sonnet as we have discussed it has a uh, uh, two stanza it is kind of poem it has two stanza one is a uh, stanza one consists of eight lines uh, we say octave a stanza two consists of uh, six line six tape we say uh first we are discussing about william wordsworth poets <coughs> uh, let's see a uh, first a uh, uh, poet of nature we have got since class 9th or 10th you have been discussing you have been uh you have been taught uh, uh about poet a uh, poet of nature a uh, why to be say poet of nature a uh, reason is a uh, uh, his poet of nature in his all kinds of poems he has natural description according to him <coughs> uh human cannot live without nature nature teaches you what does uh, he mean by nature it is not be we can clearly find a uh, nature means uh, mountains sea side green part natural description second we have uh, beside nature he is pantheist a uh, pantheism is a philosophy uh, those person they worship nature uh, they accept nature as god they are called pantheist <coughs> we have got a subjective point we have got two kinds of point or uh, two types of point one is subjective second is objective point a uh, william word for is a subjective point but because uh, most uh, uh, in his poem he discusses is uh, all emotion sentiments philosophies uh, he is not the objective point uh, if we see in all his poem he doesn't give you lesson or the, he doesn't tell him reality uh, we do not have any object example we have got lucy gray and uh, tintanabe and lucy gray in the photos uh, at the end of the poem uh, we will not uh, get any kind of message this all are the emotion sentiments and his feelings this is subjective part uh, in urdu literature we have dr iqbal and mirza khalid dr iqbal is objective part uh he never discusses the problems his feelings are particular subjective feelings he discusses uh, about his objective feelings objectivity we have got in english literature we have got uh, william shakespeare matthew arnold and uh, more uh, poets and writers <coughs> some of them they are subjective some of them they are objective so william worth for this uh, subjective poet let's see next we are discussing <coughs> a uh, william but but if you see all his poems we have got ruler themes uh in very few cases he discusses about urban life uh, in most of the poems he discusses about uh, rural life and green parts and villages <coughs> mountains flowers in all his poems uh, we have got one factor that is called subjectivity uh, he discusses his uh, emotions sentiments his feelings emotion sentiment feelings are subjective emotion can be objective right but if you see in his uh, uh, poetry uh, we have uh, we understood uh, his emotions are subjective emotions <coughs> in all his poems we do not have any kind of morality in ninth class we discuss about daffodils 
then in first set last lucidity we have got many more poems but we do not find any kind of morality uh, this all are subjectivities mm. let's see we have got uh, one example you can see a uh, sonnet composed upon westminster bridge westminster bridge by the name itself it's a bridge it is located uh, uh, in london city if you see the uh, it's uh, the morning early in the morning the poet is standing over the bridge or on the bridge is observing uh, the situation early in the morning the river is flowing all the nature description we have got see we have got some examples here uh, one is uh, we have got uh, maybe the straight, uh, two stanza stanza one we are discussing earth has not anything to show more fear earth means seven seas and seven continents has not anything to uh, show more fear fear means a uh, beautiful uh, it's a kind of exaggeration we have got earth does not have anything to show more fear dull would he be of the soul who could pass by uh, those persons they will not get inspiration by this beauty uh, they have dull soul they are dead people the word does not have anything to show more fear right and uh, miss this bridge is more beautiful than anything else in the world this word seven continents uh, seven seas uh, this word does not have anything more beautiful i want to show as compared to this uh, westminster bridge uh, those person they do not get inspiration by this beauty but early in the morning uh, the morning beauty natural description this location sight scene uh, they are dead people they have dull soul according to william wordsworth uh, a sight so touching in its majesty sight means scene a location a scenario as we have discussed bridge a river flowing a natural description so touching in its majesty in its attraction uh, this is beautiful scene it appeals uh, human humanity it appeals uh, all humans I mean, it attracts uh, to see to keep uh, uh, attention uh, this city now does uh, like uh, a garment wear it seems as if uh, this city london city uh, it seems as if it uh, has a garment the garment is beauty of the morning uh, we have got natural beauty by this you can understand uh, some examples some pictures we have got appealing scene appealing uh, scenes attractive uh, scene bridges natural beauty green park early in the morning now second we have got ship towers doom theaters and temples lie these are the other kinds of buildings uh, uh they are in the city open under the field and to the sky right it seems as if this is a, a ground and these uh, kind of building are open to the sky all bright and glittering in the smokeless air all are bright all are glittering sparkling shining in the sm uh, smokeless air <coughs> uh, these kind of buildings now whether dooms theaters and uh, school colleges historical buildings uh, uh, courts uh, they are smoke uh, they are in the smokeless air miss early in the morning there is no any kind of smoke no pollution and it seems as if uh, this is ground and these buildings are up to the up in the sky right from all are shining and glittering sparkling second we have a sight so touching as you can see we have some scenes location attraction in the world in seven seas and seven uh, continents these all are the examples uh westminster bridge it has appealing location it has appealing at, uh, attention <coughs> we have got more examples water for example we have got a sight so touching and its majesty and its beauty attraction uh, this is urban beauty we have got uh, engineering beauty we have got right one this is kind of painting this is not natural beauty but if we see a bridge a bridge is not natural beauty this is engineering beauty artistic beauty we have got second stanza we have got and the uh, neighbor is some more beautiful street street means rise the sun rises 
right now the sun rise uh, today uh, today the sun is rising uh, more beautifully than any other day it seems as if the uh, sun is uh, shining more beautifully this is kind of exaggeration the sun uh, rises uh, daily but today it's uh, uh, rises uh, more beautifully and its first uh, standard belly rock hill the rays the beams of sun are falls on uh, the mountain uh, the mount on the top uh, buildings never saw i never felt a uh, calm so deep and these kind of feelings i never uh, uh, saw i never felt i never had the realization first is time early in the morning second is river flowing uh, third we have got uh, the feelings of the poet i have never observed uh, i have never uh, felt I realize this kind of feeling as I'm observing right now, according to the poet. Sun rising scene. Sun rising is always a uh, appealing scene, right? So we have got two pictures. Sun rising, we have got. Uh, another example we have got. Early in the morning, sun is rising. Again, a kind of affection, a beauty, appealing element, and human nature. Another example we have got. The river glides at its own sweet will. A glide means a flow. A th means es. Besides artistic beauty, besides natural beauty, uh, we have got another factor: the flow of the river. A river flows. <coughs> Dear God, the very houses seem asleep. Apostrophe we have got when poet addresses to God. It seems as if uh, this is calm, a uh, peaceful environment. Uh, besides human, the house is this sleep. Uh, we have got two meanings. Whether we have uh, houses means uh, human still they are sleeping in London city. It was early in the morning, and all that mighty heart is still lying. Mighty heart means London city. Lying means uh, it uh, doesn't start its work. Uh, implies uh, still are at rest. Workers still are at their home. They are taking rest, and. Uh, uh, this beauty cannot be enjoyed by huge number of quantity. Why? Because uh, still they are on the bed. This is all about stanza R2. In stanza 1, we discuss natural beauty. In stanza 2, again, we discuss natural beauty, artistic beauty, engineering beauty. This all in the feelings of uh, a poet. Again, we have got subjective thought, uh, emotion, sentiments, uh, feelings. No morality we have got, right? Uh, we will discuss questions and answer. A river a flow, the river glides. One example. Another we have got. The river is flowing and people are standing there. They are observing, they are enjoying. A river glides, natural beauty we have got. Now questions we have got, expected question. First question we have, uh, questions. Uh, means a single idea, main idea, main theme, message, moral of the poem. <clears throat> right? What the message, moral of the poem? First uh, moral is uh, this is solid, all about uh, beauty, uh, all about nature. Here we have uh, little elements of uh, urban, uh, bridge beauty, morning beauty, a river flow beauty. This question. Number second, we have got. You will be given a stanza or you will be given uh, two lines, poetic lines, elaborate them. Uh, these are two historic lines of this poem. Earth uh, has not anything to show more fear. You will elaborate according to the reference of this poem. Okay. Number second, we have got last two lines. Uh, in papers, I will give the last two lines, elaborate, critically analyze them, uh, define this another. I hopefully like this video. Beside this, uh, we have got two files. One is short questions. Second, we have got MCQs. Watch this video, understand this video, and uh, for paper point of view, uh, you will get MCQs and short questions. Thank you.